How is everyone doing tonight? And welcome to back to Project O. Uh, just a update on what's going on. It's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, a couple weeks actually. Uh, Andrew and I have been busy. Um, we're always busy. Always building. Always doing something. Um, my buddy started working um, this week, so that's that's been uh, a blessing for him, uh, for us uh, to allow him. Um, to be able to get out in the in the workforce um, I am fortunate that uh, he is working with the company that I'm working uh, they did make a position for him uh, just for him um, and they're allowing him pretty much um, the freedom to be an assistant to um, everybody there um, he is shadowing me for a couple of days uh, and then he'll be on his own with uh, with another department so uh, for my buddy um, big uh, I guess a big pat in the back um, as he as he steps out um, so again um, I appreciate the, appreciate the my boss the owner it was his idea to uh, make a position for him and um, he's a little tired puppy. Uh, he gets done. He doesn't work a full day. Uh, he does work a couple hours. Uh, but getting up at uh, 6 in the morning, um, or actually a little bit earlier than that because we have to be out of the house at 6 in the morning, um, it does uh, tend to get him a little bit tired a whole lot earlier. So it might be able to see him on a weekend build. Um, we were looking forward to going to Jack's Con, but... Um, I was hoping we could go to JaxCon, but um, I'm not too sure because uh, he has camp this week with church. And then um, JaxCon is a following weekend. Um, and again, he's kind of adapting to his new um, little work life. Uh, anyway, back on, back on track, um, a little bit of uh, what's going on, a little bit of an update. Um, what are we working on at the shop right now? I got some 3D uh, prints going on right now. I think every day um, my printer is on, depending on what's printing, uh, for at least 10 hours. Uh, I do have, uh, I am working on a, on a project that I kind of stumbled across, and uh, because uh, Acme does have the Mustang, um, I believe is one of the uh, themes, um, I took took this project on which will also cover the what's it 60 years of Mustangs um, and a couple of other of other projects so let me turn this thing around and then uh, let you guys uh, see what's going on on my messy uh, build mat here all right all right so what's going on here is we have uh, the 1969 boss uh, 302 Mustang. Um, I am also working on this for a, a street machine um, uh, past due group build um, with uh, Jason from Blue Ox. Um, he did post a video earlier uh, today that um, said that he will be hosting <laughs> the street machine again this year. Um, maybe I'll get it done before the deadline this year. Um, actually, it's it's pro progressing pretty good. Um, I, I just need to get it in paint and um, and, and put it all together. Um, that's one of my things for some odd reasons. Um, I I can't seem to just start start a kit and just go from start to finish. I kind of get sidetracked a little bit. ADHD kicks in. Um, ADD, ADHD, all those other D's kick in and. Before you know it, I've got three, four kids that are going on at one time, um, and then um, that's why it takes me a little bit longer to finish a kit. However, once I start finishing up a kit, it's like uh, I'll finish one a couple couple weeks, a couple days later, I'll finish another one and another one. So it's not bad because they do get finished. They just take a little bit longer because I jump from one to to another. Um, but this on this Boss uh, 302 Mustang. Um, on Colts, um, on the Col Colts uh, uh, 3D printing files page, 
I came across this uh, this Mustang uh, Boss 1970 um, 124 Revell body kit. Um, <clears throat> I'm having a tough time finding a 124 scale Revell uh, 70, so I just went ahead and incorporated the 19 the the 69 Boss 302. Um, it is sort of like a off-road Baja type um, Mustang that I thought looks pretty, pretty, pretty wicked. Um, I do have some um, uh, some Monster Energy Drink uh, decals, uh, so I will be painting it uh, probably a matte, maybe satin, maybe a dull black with the um, with the bumpers, um, with the bumpers and the and the roll cage painted. Uh, the uh, energy drink uh, green, um, the monster energy drink green, um, you know, and again, uh, racing is one of my things. It doesn't matter if it's boat racing, if it's uh, <laughs> skydive racing, if, if, in, if there is anything such as skydive racing, uh, anything racing um, I enjoy. Um, so I, you know, decals and, and sponsors, I'm all in. Uh, but anyway, um, so that's where it's going. Um, I did harvest. I do have several of the 69 uh, 302 Mustangs. That is one of the one of the kits that Hobby Lobby uh, does produce uh, or does have on sale on a regular basis. So uh, I have I have a few. I have quite a few. Um, and as you can see here, um, I did have to scale that file from from Colts does come in a 124 scale. So I did have to scale it down to a 125 scale uh, to get it to um, to roll on this guy here. Um, I have started putting some on, putting some pieces on. Um, they, they go on the uh, 69 very well. Uh, I'm sure they go on the 70 probably even better since it was, you know, fabricated. It was uh, um, engineered for the 70, uh, but it makes this guy look wicked cool so far um, if you guys just take a look uh, now the back fenders they did need a little bit of um, of putty um, to fill in the gap um, but that's no big deal because uh, once I put them all together I do sand them down I will hit it kind of it's kind of in the preliminary stages I do have some stuff painted up already well actually not painted up I take that back sorry about that um, in primer, um, and that would be the um, the chassis. Um, so that is uh, that is coming along. Um, I do already have the the front A arms uh, glued in place. Um, again, this isn't going to be really too bad because as far as the detail goes on this guy, um, it is painted black you know with a monster energy drink highlight uh, yellow or green if you will um, the wheels are the crawler GT um, really really nice looking wheels um, this guy will look pretty sharp and wicked uh, once I get it mocked up, if I, I don't like the stance on it and I want to go with a bigger wheel, I'll just take out the uh, 124 wheels, which are a little bit bigger, and uh, drop it down and make it stand up a little bit, a little bit higher. Uh, the detail on these, on all these parts, is amazing. Uh, the cleanup part, if you guys ever work with resin, um, you have all the all the supports that you have to. Uh, clip off and then you end up with a little bit of gadgets, a little bit, a couple of little, not divots, but a little bit of, uh, I guess, splinters from the support set. Um, the more you mess with with uh, with resin, the easier it gets. And then you're able to flip your pieces to where you have the supports on the side that you're not gonna see on your model. Like all the supports on this one came in on the bottom side. So I was able to sand them down smooth, and if I miss one, no big deal because the piece is going to the bottom side where you're not going to miss any of the detail. 
So the more you play with these 3D printers, the, the easier, the better it gets. Um, you know, if you do have uh, if you do have failed prints, it's really no big deal um, because you you're you're constantly learning. Um, you know, you're constantly you're constantly learning how to how to roll, how to flip your your pieces, um, and if you have to stack your pieces to get a whole set on one. Um, you realize that your supports go right through the other piece so when it, they're done they clip off and then you just sand them down um, so it's it's been it's been a learning curve for me uh, this here is the is the rear uh, shocks which on this kit are double the rear is double the front is a single um, a lot of this stuff um, 3d printing 3D um, model pieces are really not intended for the beginner. They're more for the advanced. Uh, this one here just happened to have with it um, three sheets of where they go and where you need to attach them to your model. And for example, on this guy here, it tells you what to cut off and how it should look after before, so you can apply, you know. Um, so you can put your your pieces down, put your pieces down on it. Uh, it gives you the front suspension, like your reference points. Um, so you can take a look at the model it's supposed to go on. And again, the 69 is a splitting image, at least the bottom and the, and the body of the uh, of the 70. Uh, 71, they changed their body. Um, if this will not work on a 71, I mean you can get it to work on a 71, but you're just going to have a lot of cutting and, and putting and it, it, you're, you're probably end up getting frustrated with it, but um, Not all of the files come with uh, uh, Come with with a, a with an instruction sheet some of the stuff you get uh, off of 3d printing um, you have got to have some type of knowledge of where they're going and what the parts are supposed to do, but uh, nonetheless, um, it's pretty fun. And when it's all said and done, um, all this uh, 3D resin, um, it's already starting to weigh this guy down. Uh, so, um, having a lot of fun with this, um, just um, you know, just taking my pieces off of off of the printer. Uh, just uh, looking, you know, at what needs to be trimmed up, what needs to be shaved, shaved down. Um, it's uh, it's a work in progress. It's definitely a work in progress. Um, again, um, for me, it's kind of boring to just be doing this by myself. Usually, my buddy's hanging out, you know, right in front of me, and um, he doesn't like to be videotaped a whole lot, but he does like me to. To talk, to talk to you guys is kind of fun because then after that he wants to see himself on a video um, but nonetheless um, he is um, he, he is in bed he has kind of had a had a bit of a hard week um, so uh, most of the stuff just fits onto itself it's just the way it's engineered the, the designers um, you know if you guys are new to 3d printing you know, you have designers and you have printers. Um, I would be what's considered a printer. You know, I buy my files for me. Um, and then if somebody asks me to, uh, to sell them, uh, when I do buy the file, I guess I buy the rights. You know, um, it's, it's not a business for me. Um, the little bit of money that, that me and Andrew make off of selling this stuff on, on eBay or sit, just selling it to somebody that I know that wants, wants a piece, all it does is gives us a little bit of spending cash whenever we go to a show or gives us spending cash to spend back on eBay on other models that are going to sit on our shelf for, for a while. But anyway, that's one of the things that I got working here. Like I said, I got the rest of this um, uh, body kit printing up, uh, the roof rack. I got the roof rack printing up, I think. Um, I got a, my fifth wheel because it does come with a spare on top of the um, on top of the roof, on top of that rack, um, just like that. Uh, I do have the exhaust. Um, everything else is 
is is taken from the kit itself. Uh, as far as as far as the interior tub, um, now it does have rear seats. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like it is. I might leave it like it is, but just incorporate a a roll bar. I know the 71 um, uh, 007 kit does have a roll bar, um, so I might I might just harvest it out of that kit and, and put it in here. If not, bending some bending some uh, sprue or bending some uh, some evergreen styrene that's that's no 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 big deal. So that's one of the things that I've got going on. Um, another thing that I've got going on right now, and um, it's kind of taking me a little bit longer than I wanted to, but that's because I am. This is a little bit out of <laughs> out of my my league. These little rat rods. This is uh, the appreciation build for for old Tom Rambler sixty nine. Um, I do have everything put together. Um, I still still haven't decided if I'm going to go with a Ford motor uh, that came with it. Uh, it is supercharged. Uh, it does have uh, stacks and it does have a little top hat blower. Uh, the top hat blower that came with this kit was really unattractive, very uh, very toy like looking. So I did uh, take one off of one of my 572s. Uh, and I still haven't decided if I'm gonna go with this motor here or just completely blow this blow this thing up and drop the 572 supercharged with a with a full stock. <laughs> that would, I might have to scale it down, but but it'll that thing will be a monster, man. It'll be a beast. It'll be a beast. So. Um, Look for that. To, look for that to come. Like I said, this is this has been fun. It has been different because I am not uh, used to this. So, uh, Tom, um, I hope you're not holding your breath on this, buddy, because um, it's going to take me a little, bit, a little bit longer, a little bit longer than than I expected. But um, uh, but when you get it, I'll probably throw in a lot of this extra stuff uh, just for you to just for you to have and tinker with. You can never have. Too too much stuff. If anybody's if anybody keeps up with a with a hobby dude, double seven, his videos are pretty sharp. He's got uh, he's got he's got a scene in there, I believe, where where he he falls asleep, and I think he has a night. I think it's a nightmare where he tells uh, he tells his wife that uh, he finally did it. He he finally has enough models, and then he wakes up. And then he wakes up and realizes he had a bad dream. So. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of how I am. Like I, I got a, a bunch of kits and models, and some of them I haven't opened. Some of them I'll probably never open. Some we just get because um, I'll never see them again, and it's something that I, I grew up with as a kid. But anyway, that's that's all I got going on right now. Um, so just um, uh, keep us in mind as I as I get all these prints all these prints printed up. Um, I'll probably spend a little bit more time on the 69 just because I like the way it's looking. I mean, it just, I think it just looks like a beast. And then, uh, and then this will probably get me into finishing up my street machine. Um, so, um, just keep an eye out, keep an eye out on us. Um, and, uh, for those of us, for those of you on the stream or those of us on the stream, um, thoughts and prayers to uh to senior and um hopefully he gets uh hopefully he gets better to where where we can see him again at uh um at acme um and i got a couple other things going um i'm painting a fuel tank for a 57 for my 57 uh chassis um pro street chassis um i'll be painting up a few of my jack stands um, if you guys, uh, this this was this this here was actually a free file, um, pretty neat. Uh, you do have to um, go in there and size them up. I think they come in a 124. Uh, you have to go in and size it up to um, you know to to your 120 to your 125. Uh, but anyway, that's about all I got. Just uh, just want to drop this real quick to let you guys know that uh, Andrew and I are still. We're still here. We're still building, and uh, 
hopefully, just hopefully, uh, we can get on the road and, and get down to Jack's Con. Um, I doubt it. My buddy's a one-way traveler. Uh, he doesn't mind driving out. Uh, but when it's all said and done, he just wants to teleport back home. But, uh, you know, five hours out usually means five hours back. So uh, he can do the out, but coming back, um, he doesn't have the patience. Anyways, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, give me a like. You know, all comments, good or bad, are appreciated. Um, I learn a lot. Um, and I will see you guys on the next uh, stream. Um, thanks a lot. Have a great night, guys. And girls. <laughs>